Morning everybody, it's Chris here from Screen Education with the Four Majors Notice Update for the 28th of February 2011. Okay, I'm going to start off the day looking at the Euro against US dollar this morning on our CTC 6 screen strategy template. My daily starts in the top left hand corner right through to the 5 minutes in the bottom right. Okay, let's have a look at the daily. Let's have a look at trend direction for this pair. You can see at a pullback from this low here. Let's have a look. There we go. Bounce smack bang on the 38.2% Fib re retracements. And then we sort of bounce to the upside. A nice piercing candle here. Probably affect a lot of people doing intraday trading. Or people could have made a lot of money to the downside on intraday trading. On indecision. And then we saw some decisions on that. Now, Friday closed literally took back what it took uh, made on Thursday but a bit of consolidation creeping to the market as we reach the 135 mark uh, this being a prior a top okay you can see take that or take the wicks your choice we're now hitting a ceiling level and we've had a slight retracement ideally if this pair is to continue to be bullish we need to be seeing the trading above this area here at 138.26. Okay, and by doing so, then we could look at this level here at 14.20 as our next potential target. Okay, all the moving averages are nicely evenly spaced out. The US, uh, the Asian markets, we saw the pair trading slightly lower, but it is now bounding to the, to the top end of that range. Be aware we have. One, two, we had a resistance level and two supports, and now pair is trading above this little area here at 137,500. This is a possible support area. The price can remain above this area going into the US session today. Look for nothing more than buying opportunities. We have our bar, our candles are blue, and our CTC is blue on either side on the daily. So, theoretically speaking, we should be looking for buying opportunities going forward and as we speak 5 minutes 15 minutes and the 30 we have a push to the upside gaining strength be aware though we don't want to be faked in so a couple of things for the things to do is to bar is to <laughs> bar is to <laughs> remain bullish and ideally be trading above a previous resistance and support level very strong one here at 137800 close higher than that we're looking for further longs because you can see on an hourly we have a blue followed by blue but our candle is enclosed blue I guarantee you the moment this candle goes over 137800 we'll be looking at a blue candle and we could have indication for further longs okay and you can see that there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pips ish to the upside so we can make our 20 flips hell yeah okay so wait for this candle to close above 13780 okay look what it is in the 15 minute chart that horrible 200 period moving average we don't want to be caught in that you can see on the 15 minute nice even the swings to the upside Support, breakout, resistance, 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 breakout, support. Okay, now we need to close it above 780. Got us to close above 780. Otherwise, we could see price just reverting back to the downside and we don't want to be faked into the market. Okay, so that is what we're looking for at this moment. Is the price to break above 13780 and then we could go for longs. Hey guys, that's it for the Euro US dollar. I'm going to be back next for the Stony against US dollar. Take care. Okay, next up is the Sterling against the US dollar on our CT6 screen. I'm just going to bring up the daily to have a look and see how our trend direction is going. Ah, yes. Okay, 
Uh, theoretically speaking, that's the trend. Um, you can see we've pushed back, we've climbed higher, and ran straight into difficulties around this area here at 162500. Previous resistance level failed to trade higher than this level here, and subsequently again in the last week or so, resistance again. So, quite a strong resistance level at that. And we've seen price pull back and trade very inconsistently in the last four days. Indecision, decision, up candle, down candle, all of equal drive, cancelling each other out. Very, very volatile. Uh, Friday closing slightly lower, but all importantly, still staying above the 20 period moving average, which coincidentally has been acting as a support area as this pair has been trading higher highs. And we all know that higher swings means progression to the upside. So what can we see? Well, straight away you can see the Asian market has literally traded higher since the close on Friday. If I can draw a straight line, it would be fantastic. There we go. A long wick. Now, what we need is a up candle down, hammering out a possible support and further extensions to the upside should take place. But in order for that to be a, a genuine up candle, we need to see it trading higher than this high, all time high for that candle on Friday. So, this pair needs to be trading above 1615 90 going into the US session and then we could see progression during the course of the afternoon. Okay, let's have a look at our intraday for that. 1690, you can see straight away, I'm talking about on a four hour chart. Price has been coming down and by doing so, we're forming lower swings and you'll notice if I just draw my trend line, we've now had a break and we're trading higher but we haven't been trading higher than the previous swing. Price has to trade above the previous swing in order to break a trend otherwise we could just see a fake out so it needs to be trading above the highs over here at least above oh closing higher than 1617 or 1618 above all the moving averages would confirm further upside movement for today even though on a four hour we're getting a down candle look at your smaller charts following at 1530 are oh, positive Hourly needs to get above that last hurdle, and it's a 200 period moving. I see that resist, uh, sorry, support, support, resistance, resistance, and now we're retesting it. I'm not going to trade this until such time as trading above 1670 or 18, which will confirm break of trend and confirm that there's that the market wants further upside movement, and then I'll be trading it. I don't like being faked in, it's not my thing, so I don't mind sitting on my hands for half an hour, one hour, if I'm going to be getting in and making a lot more to the upside. Because if it does break above here, then obviously the clear momentum is to the upside and we can start looking at uh, areas such as 1695 uh, as a possible target and also um, 1625 as the next one. So there's movement for this to the upside and that's what I want to get. Okay, so not looking to trade this until it's trade closed higher than 161700. So with further ado, I'll be moving swiftly on to the US dollar Swiss franc. Okay, US dollar Swiss franc. Let's have a look at the daily time frame to give us an indication of what's been happening in the past week or so. Oh, wow. Pair is trading lower than an all-time low for this pair. Roughly, rough around the 93500 mark. If I just zoom out, you'll see that the price has been coming in a down motion. I mean, getting lower swings. So price movement is lower. Look at that. Squeeze and halfway through it, break out, pull back, and now you probably want to see a continuation of that now. Okay. If this is to to become positive. It needs to straight away be trading above 935 because this is a long-term uh, support area. And at the moment now, all we're going to do is find resistance until such time as it actually breaks and closes higher than 93500. So indecisive, spinning top. We want to see a decision candle. Decision would be great if we can go into the US session this afternoon trading lower than this close here. Or the low of this bar here at 0.924. Okay, trading lower than that. 
we confirm further downside movement you can see the trend extension of the trend we're now testing that trend as we speak so intraday let's have a look yep the four hour you can see this pullback these swings are lower than each other as going forward bang 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 failing to break higher needs to be trading higher than 930 to even contemplate going long 935 that's the resistance area on a daily yeah there we go so we can put this straight in now so we know exactly how far we are from the support area so it needs to be trading above 93500 going into the US session in order to be bullish otherwise we shouldn't be looking for anything other than longs I mean shorts and that's the area we need to break closing higher than closing lower apologies the 9250 would see further extensions to the downside CTC is red so we should be looking for nothing more than selling opportunities don't buy against the trend okay so until such time sit in your fingers twiddle read a good book do some more analysis but pair needs to be trading below the 925 in order to see further extensions otherwise all we're seeing at the moment now is this pair consolidating and shall consolidate until such time it's broken 925 to the downside or it's broken 935 which is way up the top to be long okay that's it for the US dollar Swiss franc I'll be back next with the last pair of the day the US dollar Japanese yen US dollar Japanese yen in front of me let's have a look at the daily time frame on our six screen strategy templates US dollar losing ground against Japanese yen this is primarily as things in the Middle East take effect and you'll notice that we've had higher swings and if I draw a candle along the bottoms of them you can see we're now testing we're now in that area where we can see a potential uh, test and we should be aware of it okay so daily trend you can see that there's a support area you can see how these swings are higher than the previous one and doing so we can see the pair has been consolidated to the to the upside and you'll notice that we've had lower swing highs which comes so you can see this squeeze occurring on this pair and um, looking forward well if we're not trading close to a previous support area then intraday we could look for we could see nothing but consolidation on this pair so intraday let's have a look and see if that's correct you can see yep for the majority of Friday and going into the Asian market and the open this morning we've had nothing but flat it's just trading flat around the 8160 mark the, the one noticeable thing to look at is the swings are still lower so momentum still pushing lower and because we're trading in a negative trend that's good as long as it's showing or forming lower swings then we know we're in a low in a in a negative trend but for this to be to to even contemplate going short it needs to close lower than the daily low or trading lower so in this case I got a lot of little sparks here at 8160 a nice juicy break I can on closing lower and that would confirm possible downside moving and then we look for an entry level it's got to close lower than 8160 with a lot of momentum otherwise all we could see is just a breakout of a false breakout then a consolidation and then a break up to the upside because on a daily we're looking we we are trading close to a, a daily support so theoretically what you want to be doing is not trading the US Japanese yen today wait for confirmation if it breaks out during the 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 the, the day today on the either later this morning on the European session or, or on the US session then great because I'm, I'm wanting a, a definite confirmation or further down some I do not want to be faked into trades I don't want to be trading trades that are just going to go against me so I don't mind sitting on my hands for a full day you know tomorrow is another day and in fact I'll have a look at another pair to trade I don't have to physically trade just for the sake of it I want to see genuine confirmation of, 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 of trend direction and why trade against a trend why trade against support or resistance levels it's, it's pointless so today US dollar Japanese yen needs to close lower for me to even think about going even long uh, to even think about going short otherwise it's not worth it so I'm not going to continue with this pair I've told you straight away that it needs to be trading closing lower than 8160 or 8150 in this case because then it'll be a definite breakout um, as things get worse in the 
in the Middle East, we might see exactly that. But until such time, no trade. Hey guys, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow first thing. Take care, have a great day. Don't trade just for the sake of trading. Trade what's on the chart. Look at the big picture, work out what's likely to occur, and then base your analysis on that. Don't just be willy-nilly about your trading, guys. You have to treat it with respect. By following rules that are implemented in these strategies, I guarantee you, the more you follow the rules, the less likely you're going to get burnt. Trade serenely. Bye.